In this short video, we're going to walk through the example in Palant on the Kruskal Wallace test. And one thing just to know right off the top of the bat is that the output in Palant looks a little bit different from what you might actually see depending on your version of SPSS. So my version looks a little different from what, what she has. Um, <clears throat> so I'll point that out as we go. But what we're going to do uh, in SPSS, we're going to under Analyze to non-parametric tests and then independent samples. And we're going to get this sort of interesting dialog screen, unlike anything we've really seen before. And we're going to click on Customize Analysis, right? So this screen basically is asking for your objective. And we're going to customize our analysis. And we'll um, then go, not to Run, which I almost clicked on, we're going to go to Fields. And this is where we're going to enter in the fields into um, the dialog boxes to make sure we have the right dependent variable and the right independent variable. So let's go ahead and put total optimism into the test field. Okay, that's going to be our dependent variable. And then groups will be our independent variable. And again, this is a non-parametric statistic, so we're looking at median rank orders rather than means for differences between the groups. And you'll see that kind of pop up in the output. So let's hit settings. And then we're going to go ahead and click Choose Tests, Customize Tests, and then click off Kruskal Wallace One-Way ANOVA K Samples. And make sure that you're, it says here multiple comparisons all pairwise. Now we're ready to run. So let's go ahead and run the analysis. And up comes our output. And that's great. I just got a message saying that the University of Richmond quarterback was drafted in the NFL. So congratulations to him. Okay, here's our output. Um, null hypothesis. Now, this looks like a crazy small amount of output, right? And uh, it is, except that we've got to do something a little different than we've done before, which is to click on the output to see more of it. But basically, this first part of the output is going to say the distribution, uh, the null hypothesis is that the distribution of total optimism is the same across categories of uh, the three age groups in the example, okay? And so that's our null hypothesis, that there's no difference in median rank orders. So here's the independent samples Kruskal Wallace test. This is what we're running. Here's essentially our p-value. So we did see in the data a difference in um, medium, median ranks, and it was significant. So the decision is to reject the null. So that's, that's the very basics of the analysis. So what I have to do now is click on the um, output <clears throat> and then what that's going to give us are box plots <coughs> excuse me and some additional um, data here so here's the chi-square the test statistic itself 8.573 degrees of freedom and then the p-value okay and here's our, our box plot so now what we're going to do we want to know which of these groups had the really different median ranks, you know, essentially what are our pairwise tests. So we're going to take a look down here. There are these drop down boxes and we'll say pairwise comparisons. And what it does is it plots out differences in the ranks between the groups and you're looking for the biggest spread in those points. And if you go all the way below it, it gives you sample one, sample two. I wonder if this will spread out a little bit more. Can I spread that out? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sample one, sample two. So this is the 18 and 29 year olds compared to the 30 to 44 year olds, the 18 to 29 year olds compared to the 45 plusers, and then the 30 to 44 year olds compared to the 45 plusers. And what you're looking for is the gold over here for the p-value. And that's where you get a significant difference in the median ranks between uh, age groups. So this is telling you where the difference occurred between the 18 and 29 year olds and the 45 plusers. So here's the 45 plusers, right? You go up here and here's the 18 to 29 year olds, okay? So you're seeing a statistically significant difference between um, those two groups. Now interestingly, when you compare the 30 to 44 and then the 45 plusers, you see a, you would think that this is where the significant difference occurs, but apparently not. And you can't tell just from this where the difference occurs, but uh, just on the face of it, you'd think it would be this one, but um, I guess not. So 0.246, so we only got um, one significant pairwise comparison there. 
looking at the median uh, ranks. Okay, so uh, there is a, that's pretty much the bulk of the analysis. It's a fairly simple analysis. Um, I don't think there's really anything else here to look at. Field information, no. Just gives you some frequency counts. That's pretty much it. So, um, so basically, the results are pretty straightforward. Um, and if you look in Palant, Palant walks through everything we just did, how to find the chi-square value, uh, looking at those um, rank orders. Uh, talks a little bit about um, post hoc and effect sizes and how you have to do some additional Bonferroni adjustments to f figure out the effect size. I don't really need you to do that, so you can probably skip over that paragraph. What I'm mostly interested in is that you're able to sort of look at these values here and then find the uh, pairwise co uh, comparison information in the drop-down box down here. It's going off the screen. And I think that that would be sufficient for, uh, for that. Okay? So um, that looks pretty much like it. That's the video. So hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, holler to me, okay?